The purpose of this video is to do a PCB on the 946-1010 hot plate. Now that I figured out it's a menu and that we're able to go 100% duty cycle and it should reach 195 degrees Celsius reflow temperature in less than three minutes instead of 13-ish. I've chosen the HS101 Pro PCB and we're also going to try to have a little bit of fun here to see if uh, that hot plate method can handle this 6S21. This is the small outline. Compare it to the SOP 6S21 that we did a couple of videos ago. For all of these larger components over here, the 1117 voltage regulator, there's a resistor, another resistor, a capacitor, and then a BAV99 diode. I'm just going to put dabs of solder paste straight from a syringe. But for the 6S21, I want to pretend the contacts on the PCB. I've placed a liberal amount of solder paste across those pads. And with the use of a soldering tip at 550 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm simply going to flow that until those pads are tinned. Brush some of that off. I don't know if you notice all of the flux that's just built into the solder paste itself. It's not that there are all that many components, but we're interested in the behavior of that 6S21 the BAV99 diodes are also a little tricky. I've set the temperature to 195 degrees Celsius and the duty cycle is set at its maximum 100. So it should take less than three minutes to reach that temperature. I'm not breaking away from the camera here. You can fast forward if you uh, wish, but I think that the money shot is all about how this will flow on this hot plate. Forty five degrees. When you pretend that the six S twenty one is a little bit hard to keep in position, it's you know kind of sitting on these rounded uh, pre tin pads. So it might need a little nudge as the solder starts to flow. We'll see. I think that's the advantage of a hot plate is that you can watch what's going on and you can intervene if it uh, becomes necessary. 133 degrees. Rising much faster than uh, before now that I've got a handle on that hidden menu. One hundred and sixty nine, one seventy. This is about the temperature that you start seeing the solder paste becoming like these spreading out into these mud pies. And if we had that on that six S twenty one, it would just bridge. See they're they're starting to come together now. This guy needs a little help. And then the surface tension does the rest of the work. Coming out really nice. 195 maximum temperature. 
things have flowed. I'm going to give the 6S21 a slight little bump here. Has to go that way. I'm a little scared to do it, but I'm going to do it. And then back here. Whoa. The camera's in the way. Yeah, I like that. I'm liking all of it. And I'm shutting it off. And that's the thing, you know, uh, that um, setting on here, if you try to play around with that, and let's say I just decide to just uh, use the up and down arrows and bring the temperature down instead of shutting it off, it can play some tricks on you and, and can continue to climb when you think that you've set it down. Just better just turn it off. And I'm not even going to budget. It can stay on this plate and I'll get back to you here. This was all done inside of what, three minutes or so? Really nice. So this looks pretty good to me. I'm quite pleased with these 946-1010 results. And what it did to this MSOP 6S21. No bridging, full contact. This board has components on the back side, so I'll do those by hand with a hot air station. The scuttlebutt is that there's an upcoming revised PCB for the HS101 Pro. It'll have all of the components on the same side and use the SOP size of the 6S21. Even with it being just a single channel, I've always liked this circuit and it can go USB or you can add a Bluetooth module to it. It's really nice. So that 946-1010 is going to be my go-to for PCB work going forward. I love it. Talk to you guys soon.